Alright guys, Swicked the Frog, welcome back for the next episode. As we were doing the last one, we had set up this Oculus Accumulator. We're going to go up here and start making an engine or three. Okay. Now the engines we're looking at making are this first one right here, the Steam Dynamo. Now if you uh, shift when you mouse over the picture, it tells you it produces redstone flux. That's the type of energy it needs water and a solid fuel. If it runs out of water, the engines will fail and they have a reset time on them. Um, but with the Oculus Accumulator, they'll never run out. So that's good. All right, so let's see. Silver, we're probably going to want to make a couple of these. So let's see. One, two, three. Let's go with three. Three seems like a good number. I like odds. <laughs> that's probably not enough copper, but you know what? Let's do this. I have more copper making, so no big deal. Uh, it is actually. Give me one of those. This one. Yeah. No. Six of them. Boom. Now we're going to have to actually grab that. Head over here. And there. That's good. All right, and our gold is ready, so we'll get that started up too. Let's see here. Uh, boom. One, two, three. Look at there. We got ourselves three steam dynamos. I wonder if we can make a power source yet. I don't think we can. An actual frame. Leadstone. Like that. We have block of lead, just regular glass. Blue redstone, white redstone. Jesus, I didn't know they had colorful redstone. That's crazy. Um, yeah, let's make one. I want to make this because, you know, I'd like to be able to store some excess energy. So if we run out, we'll keep going. We can see that we're running out and go ahead and refill. Do we have any lead? I don't think so. We have one piece of lead on us. So let's go over here. Uh, there's some more. Grab some of that gold, hit that. Ooh, gotta sleep before we don't die. All right. Sleep through the night. I know some people go, oh, that's not very hardcore. You sleep through the night. No, that's just smart. Sorry, hate to say it, but <laughs> not sleeping through the night is dangerous. Get you killed super quick. All right. Turn that into that. Go like this. I think that was right. Ooh, probably didn't make the wrong one. It doesn't matter even if I did. Electrum. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, Electrum. Let's look up the recipe for that. It is silver and gold pulverized. No problem. Maybe a small problem. All right. Hmm. What a pain in the rectum. All right, I'm going to get this stuff pulverized, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we are back, and I've made that Electrum already. Basically, I just pulverized a piece of gold and a piece of silver, blended them together in a crafting square to give me two Electrum dust. And then, of course, I threw that into a furnace and made myself some Electrum ingots. So there we go, and boom. Nice. We actually have ourselves a little bit of energy storage. Now, as you can see, it can hold 400k of RF. It can send up to 80. Uh, signal enable low. That doesn't really matter because I always turn everything off for the most part. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to do? Uh, let's go ahead and make us some... Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make some machines. So, obviously... Furnace, pulverizer. So we're gonna need to get some bricks. All right, I'll be right back as soon as I smelt a little bit of clay up. All right, guys, we're back. Got those bricks smelted up. Went ahead to make them into a uh, the actual block of bricks. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is furnace, of course, with those. Bam. One, two. 
just to be safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here we are. Make us a cop of gear. One, two. And yeah. Make some gold. Just make us one for now. I know I probably need one for the next machine as well, but I don't want to do what I did last time and make something I don't need. Which I actually just did. I forgot I have one right there. No problem. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need one for that. Two more gears. No, no, not the sawmill. That's okay. I need the gears anyways. Ooh, got to make a piston. Haven't had the opportunity to make a piston yet. Let's see here. Gonna need some wood. Cobblestone, which I actually already have. Uh, huh. Did I make that already? Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. Yep, made the furnace. Gonna make the pulverizer. Grab some of that there. Mm. Oh, there they are. Boom, come here. I know I had two close by. So, let's make the piston, like so. Just need one. Ooh, I'm almost out of room. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go. Don't need you, 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 uh, or you. Right? Is that it? If you hit R in this, guys, it sorts your inventory. It will open up a recipe. Unless you're moused over a blank spot, then it won't. So see like this. See how my inventory's a little out of whack? Hit R. Bam. Pops it right back in. There you go. All right. So we got ourselves a piston. Hit that. What did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? Nothing. I just clicked the wrong one. All right, there we go. Let's go down in and hook this stuff up. You guys are gonna love this. It's a simple, quick, and easy way to make power. Um, it can be done relatively early on in the game. I just usually, you know, I'm kind of one of those guys who just kind of mills around and does other stuff in the game before he starts messing with power it was weird it was like moving all right yeah look at that what the heck am I being blown away by something oh you're killing me and I don't have a wrench but that's okay the way you can actually solve that problem guys is these things love to hook up to power so you go here 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 this is the most beautiful set up on the planet but it will work and now we're gonna go over here yeah, grab ourselves some of that some of that and it's in another one somewhere oh, 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 oh. there we go all right run fool did I oh, stupid I was testing something out in one of my worlds and I forgot again Okay, so as you can see, this has filled up with uh, stationary tropics water, which is basically just water. Uh, what we'll do is bam. Now, what's this going to do is start building itself up ahead of steam. As soon as it does that, it will start generating energy. Same thing here and here. Now, what we are going to do is, you know, this is just kind of a fast and sloppy kind of thing. We're going to throw that there, and bam, as you can see, it is pulling in energy. It is probably pulling it in faster than they can uh, make it. I would imagine. No, no, that's good. That's good because this will act as a reserve for us, okay? And we can actually set this up to react to a redstone signal. You can even put a lever on it. So if you want to shut off your entire power system, you would just flip that lever and it would kill the energy coming out of this or going into it. Now, the great thing about these is, is they will waste a little bit of energy. However, once they burn up this last piece of fuel here, and this is full, they'll stop. They won't continue to run. Um, they will keep the head of steam in them, but you don't have to worry about them overheating or anything like that or wasting energy. But until this little sucker's full, which believe it or not will actually take a while, it will keep on pumping. Now we're going to make sure that the right side of this is out. It is. So we are good. Now how do we want to run this part. Let's go like so. Uh -huh. So the first thing I always put down is my furnace. I'm just kind of picky about that. I like the, the line 
or not the furnace, the pulverizer. I like the, the it to make sense. To me, it makes sense to have the pulverizer first, and then after the pulverizer comes the next line, the furnace. So there we go. That's how I do it. So now we want to set these up so they'll actually work correctly together. Okay, so we're going to set the back as an out. Did I do that right? No. Oh, that was the top. <laughs> So the back should be that top, uh -huh, that one. So this would be getting juice. Yes, there we go. Okay, when you look at the configuration of any machine on thermal expansion, top, left, right, bottom, front, back, all six sides, nice and easy. So we can actually take that on the blue and that onto blue as well. Blue means input. Wait a minute, why did I stop? There it goes. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Now these things burn up a ton of charcoal, so this is not going to be a system we're going to want to stick with for too long. This is just kind of a system to get us off the ground until we can get to the end, find us the Enderman, kill the dragon, and start farming some pearls up. And once we can farm some pearls, then we are good to go. I'll tell you right now, experience in this one doesn't mean as much as it does in other ones. I do, however, like to make Thaumcraft tools because you can get that ever so popular repair on them. So, let's go get us some stuff and I'll show you guys how this works. I should have some in here. Yep, sure do. Let's start with the ever so popular iron. Now, what I'm going to want to also do is, there we go, make a chest. Whoops. Let's type it in here. Let's see what kind of chest we want to make. We're probably going to make something that's a little pricey, but we're going to need something. You know what? No, we're not going to. I changed my mind. Uh, is there any wood in any of these? I really, yes. Oh. Four. There we go. All right. So. Next, we will make ourselves a hoppa. Whoops, what the heck? I don't recall picking up 64 sand, but hey, whatever. Uh, next, we're going to make ourselves a hopper. And what I actually usually will end up doing is making multiple hoppers and kind of stacking them on this system. I have a tendency to get kind of lazy and just not build another system, but whatever. We'll figure that out later as we come to it. Make us a little double chest. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make. This is already the input. So bam, that's the input. Uh, and that's already the output. So that kind of works out good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make the top the output. I just kind of like to do that. I know that looks funky. I apologize. But we'll get to it eventually. So the top's the output. OK. Make that a nothing or just an input, doesn't really matter. <sighs> now here, we want this to be orange because what this will do is this will feed. See, this is sometimes when you grind stuff up in a pulverizer, you have a chance of getting other stuff. Here, let's just get started. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, this will produce two per, automatically push it into the furnace. And the furnace will automatically eject it into the chest. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to use both sides of the chest or not. That would be weird. Uh, there's one way to find out. Let's fill this whole thing up. I may have to rearrange this chest a little bit. Uh, uh. It is not. That is not good. Okay, we can fix that. Not that big of a deal. You know what, we'll just give it one chest for now. We'll upgrade that chest later. Ah, see, of course, it's not going to kick out anything extra. What will happen is sometimes, like, when you're doing iron, you'll have a, a, a small chance of getting another dust, and that dust will accumulate here. Once the iron is finished smelting over here, it'll pull whatever in that slot over to the furnace. So, there you go. 
that's how that works so there we go we got ourselves a basic little energy system set up next thing we want to do is probably set up some stuff because we're going to want to man we're just going to have to go find the end I'm probably going to find the end off camera show you guys where it's at and then we'll call that an episode so I'll be back in a few guys alright guys welcome back here we are um, we're gonna need ourselves one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ender pearls <sighs> eyes of ender times ten I'm gonna actually need one more ender pearl I can find a desert pretty easily put it there alright but you know what this is actually relatively close to our base um, tell you what we are pretty much out of time that is gonna run us into the mark but I also found a skeleton spawner and a spider spawner all attached to this dungeon so this dungeon is pretty freaking amazing um, what I'll probably do is set up a farming for the skeletons uh, with maybe a crusher uh, not sure yet probably a crusher I have made some if you check my page out you can find some pretty interesting crushers that I made uh, but that's going to be it, guys. As always, please leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, and God bless.